Hello, it's Revy here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the CRT effect you guys on the beginning and this must be one of my favorite effects uh, to do so I'm really excited to show you guys how I, I make it and uh, if you guys want to support me I have a website so feel free to check that out I have some editing packs over there but yeah let's get right into this so the first thing we're going to do is to make a new composition i have fhd with 24 fps for the moment and i have imported a clip here uh, this is a clip uh, from uh, travis scott uh, this music video is called uh, goosebumps so after you have made your composition and imported your clip you're going to make a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and here i'm going to be starting off adding mosaic and I'm going to be setting the horizontal blocks to 350 and the vertical blocks to 350 as well. Boom. And I'm going to add sharp colors. And then I'm going to be adding Gaussian blur and I'm going to be setting the, the blur blurriness to 3. And now we're going to change the composition settings. So you're going to open up composition settings. And here I'm going to set the width to 720 and the height to 480 and I'm also going to set the frame rate to 20 and here adjust your clip size something like that and then I'm going to continue add effects to the same adjustment layer and I'm going to be adding and I'm going to be adding grid and here change the size from to width and height sliders and then change the blending mode to hard light and then change the color to black and drag down the height to 4 and the width to 2 and you're going to drag down the border to 1 to get something like this now and this already looks pretty clean but I'm going to continue add some effects to make this even more realistic so I'm going to be adding an effect called CC lens so you get something like this now and I'm going to increase the size to 334 and then and then drag down the convergence to minus 200 something like this and then i'm going to be adding curves to this and here i just want to make a slight contrast boost by dragging this one up just like that and this one a little bit down so this is the difference and then we're going to be adding cc vignette and here you can use the normal default settings here or drag down the angle of view if you want i think this looks clean and after that I'm going to be adding a glow to this. So I'm going to be adding the normal glow in After Effects. Here I'm going to set the threshold to 46.3 and the glow intensity to 0.3. And these glow settings might not work for your clip depending on what colors uh, your clip has, how bright it is and uh, stuff like that. But uh, mess around uh, in the glow settings with the glow threshold, glow radius, glow intensity to get a look you are satisfied with in the ending. So after that I'm going to press Ctrl D on the glow to add another glow. And here I'm going to set the threshold to 45.5% and the glow radius to 52 And I'm going to keep the glow intensity on 0.3. And then again Ctrl D on the glow. And here decrease the threshold to 36.5 and the and the glow radius to 221 just like that and here increase the glow intensity to 0.6 so you get something like this now and you guys probably think this looks kind of weird so we are going to make a new adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and here add transform and just increase the scale to something like this and if you guys want to use this effect again you can just go to the adjustment layer press ctrl a uh, to mark all of the effects go up to save animation and then press save animation preset and then type whatever you want to name the preset and after that you can just search up crt or wherever you named it and then drag it onto your clip if you want to use it again so yeah that's how you made the crt look and uh, i'm pretty pretty satisfied with this look here i wanted to be make it so realistic as possible with the resolution and all, and all of that uh, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Give me some new ideas on tutorials I can make. And if you guys want to support me, I have a website. So feel free to check that out. You can also join my Discord server and check out my socials. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.